Yo, what's up guys? Everyone else in this house is asleep. It is currently almost 5 a.m. in the morning and I packed up. I'm actually making my way down to Vancouver and I'm gonna be driving again. The only thing is, if you look outside, boom. Calgary actually got hit with almost 30 centimeters of snow this night. Hopefully the roads aren't all that bad. I'm not gonna be using the Presidio because I have no idea if that'll even last. Got my booth stuff. Let's do this. Why am I going to Vancouver? Well, I was invited to Adelaide for their winter event and that is why I have my entire art booth set up all packed. My plan is to make it into Vancouver in the afternoon, so let's do this. It's actually pretty gnarly. It's such a light snowfall. This is the rental vehicle for this weekend. Hyundai Sonata. <gasps> okay. Oh my goodness. Seat heaters. I feel like this is gonna be one of the most comfortable rides I've ever done from Calgary to Vancouver. It is currently 6 a.m. and I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So if we pass the Timmy's along the way, Tim Hortons for you non-Canadians, probably gonna pick myself up some coffee because I need some caffeine or sugar or all the above. Let's go. Alright, so it is now 7 a.m. Right now, the road conditions are so bad. I pulled over on the side of the road because I'm dead tired and I'm scared. I'm just gonna pass out behind the wheel. Before anything bad happens, I'm just gonna sleep. See you guys in the morning. Well, technically it is morning, but I'll see you guys in like an hour or two. We'll see, it depends. I'm just, yeah. I'm not even gonna set my alarm, so whenever I wake up, I wake up. Here's where the traffic starts. So when cars are passing by and snow is getting flung around, you're only getting hints of the ground and it's really hard to see where you're driving. All right, status update, it is completely white out now. So we're pretty much, that's the sign for entering British Columbia. We are basically just at the border. It is freezing, dude. All right, so what they might actually be doing, holy, I opened the door for one second. They're doing avalanche control. They're, so they're deliberately causing avalanches so that they won't randomly happen later on in the day. Who knows how long I'll be here, but better safe than not. At least this car has heat, because the Presidia doesn't. Oh my god. Okay, catch you guys in a bit. What is going on? And now my wipers don't work again. F this sh Okay, sounds good. Thank you. You heard the man. What am I supposed to do now? Hmm. I think I have to turn around and go back home. <sighs> I thought I was all prepped and ready. What a waste. Okay, I guess we're turning around then. Oh, dude. This is ridiculous. Bruh. Luckily, I was in the front of that thing. All these people have to turn around. It goes all the way down, dude. She in town all week, got a brows on feet She even got a goddamn nails done Sex on freak, let me get some I got stuck in this bank because I took this corner way fast These guys are heroes They just came by and asked if I needed help 
Hey. Sick. Damn! Son smashed into that bank. These guys are savers. Alright, let's get the f out of here, man. Hey, yo, welcome back to the second day. And I actually ended up returning that Hyundai that I rented the other day. Traded in for this, which is an all wheel drive, has winter tires, so this is gonna be way better. What happened yesterday was we got stopped three hours outside of Calgary in the middle of the mountains. And they basically just turned everyone around because there were too many avalanche warnings happening in that area. Plus that 30 centimeters of snow, that snow the night before really didn't help out. So there's no way I could have made it through this. But now we're actually at a place called Field, which is, it, it's almost exactly where I got stopped yesterday. But we have a new car that can make it through these treacherous mountains. It is a beautiful day outside and I'm ready to make this seven hour trek towards Vancouver, finally. What sucks though, is I actually left my GoPro in the other car, so I had to call them and they're keeping it safe. So I'll just see you guys in Vancouver. Here's my ride. Mm-mm. Plus, it's more spacious. Yo, someone dropped their SD adapter. That might actually come in handy. I'm back home, but I know I've been waiting all week for this. Hello. On the ground, my brows on fleek for this. What? Been working all week for this. Even got a guest list for this. She'll tweet by this. Run the whole street and shit on this. That book's so fat. Probably did spots for this. Mmm, water! Alright. Off to Golden. See you bustin' for it. Make you bang, shiny. Make you bang. I see you bustin' for it. Make you bang, shiny. Make you bang. I see you bustin' for it. Make you bang, shiny. Make you bang. Spend it all. She don't make it back. Run it away, the Alright, morning guys. I'm now at the college and I'm in Vancouver. Got my exhibitors pass. So I'm gonna take you guys inside to show you the setup process and where everyone's at right now. Thanks, man. So the artist Sally is in that section and then over here, this is where the vendor booths are. Cool. So Danny was telling me that she saw the fidget spinners at like Super Store Walmart or something for like 95 cents. <laughs> Yo, how's it going? How are you guys? I'm so tired right now. Alright. Today is the first day of Annie Rainbow at the LaSalle College here in Vancouver. And here's my booth spot right now. Everyone's just setting up. Slow starts in the morning. And as you can see, people are starting to line up outside already. But that won't actually be in until 10 today, so we got like two hours to set up. Ooh. It's like kind of chilly, but compared to the minus 25 degree weather in Calgary, this is so much better. I wish I lived in a place where I could drive my car all year round. And if there were any place in Canada, Vancouver would be that place. Kings must arise at this booth today. <laughs> Not it's great. Oh, both. Two sides of the same point. All right, so I've been staring at my space for 10 minutes now, and I'm just trying to envision my booth setup, but it's kind of hard because it's smaller than I expected it to be. It's literally just half a six foot table, and whatever is behind this table, so I'm trying to make this work. Green money, girl, I see you working. You on top of your payroll. Butter now, smoke. Oh, yeah. Call your girls, we can all roll. Yeah. Now touch your car, squad go. Oh, yeah. Touching. God damn, you deserve that thing. I'm not used to having a booth space this small. So I have to like divide it into half of the actual rackings that I usually use. And I don't even know if I'm going to have that one, so. There's the lineup. <laughs> Alright, booth is all set up, and I mean, as you can see, I'm not giving all that much space. And. Oh. Artist Sally is officially open. Let's get this day started. First commission of 
of the show completed. And this person wanted Uncle Iroh, the Avatar. <laughs> in Vancouver to be rocking one of these. <laughs> awesome man, they haven't had much time to actually walk around this place. But I'll show you guys the commission piece that I'm working on right now. So I basically have to draw this dude wearing this costume. Got another supporter rocking the new KMR hoodie. And this is what it looks like so far. This is Red Riot from Boku no Hero. I'm working on my last commission of the day. It's another trainer commission. This is probably going to take me until the end of the convention, but I'll do a small walk around to show you guys how this place is doing so far. But as you can see, emptying out, people are starting to leave. Artist Sally. Uh, emptying out. Yo, first day of any Rebo is over. I've left my stuff here because we're coming back here first thing in the morning tomorrow. We're now meeting up with Derpy and apparently there's some sort of FRS meet happening in Vancouver. We're supposed to go meet at Timmy's to talk business. Um, look forward to what Lost Royalty has in store for you guys. Catch you guys in a bit. No freaking way. Yeah, what the f Vancouver. I swear, this city has gotten so much money out of me and my car. Here it is. The infamous market crossing of Vancouver. So they said the meet started at 8. And so here I am bringing a Nissan to a FRS BRZ meet. Bad I don't have my FRS here. So no BRZ. You have to say hi. It's been two years. Hello. <laughs> what, what has happened to this thing ever since we last saw it? Eric's just installing his coilovers. Peens. <laughs> Peens. Like full aim gain. I did that too. Aim gain. <laughs> All right. So we're here at this BRZ FRS meet, and. I don't have my FRS here, so sad. But it's been like two years since I brought you guys to this particular parking lot. All the builds here just goes to show you how vast the uniqueness of this car can be. At the very front of the line, we got derps, course, FRS, BRZ, FRS, BRZ, FRS 2017. It's kind of hard to tell. White FRS. And a random FD on this side. So sweet. They say if you truly want to know yourself, look at your five closest friends. Because your reflection of the people is the most meaty. So meaty. These things run like thick digits now? Are they thick digits? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Damn. What? <laughs> this thing is rocking FRS seats. What? Super with FRS seats, that's dope. Uh, no worries, man. Yo, sweet. Angela, nice to meet you, man. <laughs> Double spoiler alert. The chassis. The chassis is twisting itself apart. like like 30 seconds. Alright, 
finished up at Market Crossing, all the other FRSs left me, and Simon had a little meeting. And now we're gonna go for a bubble tea run. Wee! So I'm just gonna get him to text me the address and then I'll follow his crazy little thing. Yo, that thing is badass. Damn. Apparently there's another car meet happening here. <laughs> Time to check out Reggie's new old build. This thing's badass. TE's on everything, dude. Show you some of the cars. Tiggies. Civs. Hey, hentai kings. <laughs> 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 